everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to test out a new porn medium. Well, new to me. I don't know how long it's been out. But this is actually an apple barrel pouring medium. So I paired it with the apple barrel paints. I've got white, cobalt hue, bright red, and yellow flame. This is a one-to-one -one ratio, and I just eyeballed it this time. I wasn't as specific with this experiment as I have been in the past. And I just started to mix it up. I put the paint in first, so that's when I could kind of tell it was mixed is all of the um, white. Here's what the pouring medium looks like. It's just white. It does have a little bit of a smell to it, but it's not bad. Um, today, in, on, we'll do a couple of different um, tiles here using these paints. The first one we'll do will just be a flip cup. I'll use these little guys and fill them up, I don't know, almost all the way. I'll try to do, maybe not all the way, maybe like 75% full. But we know how that works. It doesn't always work the way that I intend. Um, but what, white first and then the blue. Try not to pair the white and the red together because that will make pink. Um, there's nothing extra in these paints. It's just the paint and the pouring medium. There's no water or anything else. Except for there might be a few chunks. Um, I did see some. I didn't strain it like I usually would. I'm going to skip the white. Go back to blue. A little bit in. yellow to try to get some green and then it's probably enough we'll just do a tad bit more white just so that maybe it'll make an appearance and we'll flip these I do not know how that is stuck there should be nothing on the backs of these yet there's no paint on here yet Alright, we'll give that time to do its thing. Try to keep you in frame. To prep the tiles, um, ideally just wiping off um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I just use a baby wipe because it's what I have handy. Seems to work just fine for me. While that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the next two. And we'll do tree rings on these. here and they'll be ready to go. All right, let's see what we got here. Mm. Just in case, I'm going to throw an extra two tiles down here in case we get some like way too much, then it can drip onto these tiles. Looks like we got way too much. And like I said, there's chunks in here. I'm not too worried about them. I'm just going to pick them out with some tweezers. Like that right there. This looks really cool. I think on our tree ring, we may leave the white out. Because it seems that the white kind of muted the colors a little bit. Unless that was the pouring medium, which we'll find out when I don't put white in the next one. I also put white in first, so it's what's going to come out kind of on top and theoretically sink to the bottom, but these don't seem to have the same kind of weights like my usual paint mixture. Let me torch them really quickly. This one's definitely looking cooler than this one. <laughs> Not sure why. They were practically made the same. Um, and then we've got some cool coasters going on down here. I will get these out of the way and put the next two up for the tree ring pour. And then we'll come back to do that. See you in a second. 
All right, I'm going to use one of the cups. I'm going to fill it all the way up, but I'm not going... I'll stop whenever I feel like we have enough on the uh, painting. In theory, I'll stop. <laughs> and this will be a tree ring pour. And then once we're done with all of the um, tile paintings today, um, use up all of our paint, then I will bring you in for a close-up on all of them at the same time. Ah, there was a big clump that I saw go in there, so whenever that comes out, we will uh, have to pick it out. That yellow is sinking in the cup really nicely. So maybe in this pouring medium, our yellow will be our new white. Really cool watching it do its thing. All right, we're gonna call that good. One second. Sorry about that. Great. Okay. Call that one good. There's that chunk. I guess there's technically still maybe a little bit of white in the bottom of the cup. Didn't think about that. Oh, I'm going to start with this one because it's already kind of doing stuff. At least I might be able to figure out why the colors are muted. Which I think the white is the culprit. Because this one has just a little bit of white in it from the bottom of the cup and where those were where that white kind of came out with the painting the paint that I put in the cup the second time those colors were a little bit muted versus what's going on on that other one I haven't tilted yet it appears to, not, to be pretty vibrant so let's tilt it and see I hope I'm still in frame, guys. If I'm not, I deeply, deeply apologize. I really try to set that up so you'd be able to see it. So if not, I, again, deeply, deeply apologize, and I will do better next time. This one actually had some chunks in it, too. These chunks are not from the pouring medium. This paint that I have from Apple Barrel is older. <laughs> So that's why the chunks are in it. So not due to the pouring medium whatsoever. All right, I actually like both of these actually. There's not a lot of yellow in this one, but there is in the other one. So I really like them both. Now we still have a little bit of paint. So let me come up with something and we'll be right back to do whatever it is I come up with. All right, we are back. I've got those out of the way. I've got some more kind of um, set to the side, ready to go. I'm going to just tilt these ones. And they look really cool. They've just got a little bit of everything in it. Uh, all the different colors and then some really cool designs from the drips. moving these around to get full coverage and then I will set them kind of to the side. I've got a lot of coasters going on here now or tiles so <laughs> my side uh, areas are kind of taken over. Um, let me get some more cups out and some tiles. have an idea. I'm going to put some white base coat down. Kind of use up the white a little bit. Spread it around. And then we'll do a um, um, <laughs> 
that an open cup something like that i'll show you i've seen it a little bit i think i even tried it once actually i can't think of the name of it now though i'm not gonna worry about that those drips there this is not the right piece it's this guy man i'm making a mess but it's okay we're all just experimenting so i have this little cup that i cut the bottom off I'm just going to pour a little bit of each color in and then drag it around the canvas or the tile. This is not a canvas. And just kind of lift up a little bit as I move along. I'm going to start in the middle for this next one. I'm just going to let that sit there and do its thing. Oh, that was a huge chunk. Let me see if I can get it out before we start this madness. Yeah, there we go. There's the red. Now here's the yellow. And the blue. I'm actually really liking what that's doing over there. It's really pretty. This one's going to kind of go in a circle from the inside to the outside. I'm sorry if you couldn't hear that because I realized I'm whispering for some reason. I went from the inside in a circle around the outside. So now I'm just going to tilt a little bit. I don't think it's going to need too much tilting. But I want to tilt just a little bit to get some more of those colors kind of moving around here. I like the wispiness of this one. It's really cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out to the edges for the most part. Kind of do away with the negative space here. Yeah, it's like a rainbow wind or something. <laughs> this one definitely still has some pretty vibrant blues and yellows in it. In this like top corner. I like what's happening on this tile now at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and run a little bit more off. Just because I liked what was happening up there. Kind of stretch it out some. I think the rest of this I will just put into a dirty cup, um, make it like a leftover paint cup. So we will do that in the future. I've got some other pouring mediums to test out. Um, for now, what I'll do is I will torch all of these. I only torch the first round and then I will bring you in for a close up. All right, we are back for the close up. So this is the first one, the flip cup. These little bitty tiny cells are from the torch. I think it's just kind of scorching the paint a little. Uh, so that's not really, uh, I mean, you can do it and get cool designs, but not typically what I try to go for. A little bit muted here. This one did have white in the flip cup. And then this is pretty much just yellow. Um, I think that actually is white that you're seeing there. I don't think it's just a glare. But not a whole lot of fun stuff happening over here. I think it could, um, but I definitely like the other ones we did, and I kind of did a bonus one while we are away. This is a tree ring, so really pretty. It kept the lines, it didn't muddy, so that's good. Um, so far, really not too many cells. I guess those are maybe cells. I don't think they're drips. They look too uniform for it just to be drips. Um, so if you don't like cells, this might be a good option for you. Here's the other tree ring pour we did. Color stayed pretty vibrant as long as you didn't have the white in there. Um, and these two, it kind of um, dulled the colors a little bit. This is from the runoff. The tiles we made from the runoff, and they're just um, awesome. They're a little busy, so if you don't like busy, then that wouldn't be a technique for you, if you want to call it that. <laughs> but I really like them. Just kind of like madness, painting madness, which is, you know, kind of theme. 
And then here are the uh, open cup drag. I'll put the real name of that in the uh, description below. But just kind of like rainbow wispiness. Same thing over here. Sorry, I'm going to try to keep my shadow out of it. Are a few little tiny cells there popping through. That's going to be from the... Those little cells are going to be from the torch. Really pretty. And then the bonus was a dip from the puddle of paint. It did muddy, obviously, because there was a lot of paint down there. But I love how absolutely uniform those, like, feathers are that from the dip uh, pattern. I don't think I've ever had it like that perfect of a pattern. Maybe that'll make a cool background for something. Let me know what you think about these tiles in the comments below. If you've tried the pouring medium from Apple Barrel, here's what it looks like one more time. If you have any questions, leave those below as well. I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And it makes you happy.